Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you already subscribed, but welcome back. So many of you guys do complain to ask how I do get some of my backdrops. So I'll be showing, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do generate some of my backdrop using AI. And I think you guys are going to find this video interesting. Uh please drop a like. Don't forget to drop a like in this video. It's a the YouTube algorithm actually push my video forward so i'll be showing you easier way to actually get some ai backdrops to actually get some ai backdrops which is going to look hyper realistic that someone might not be able to tell the difference if it's a studio picture a studio background or you actually created it using ai so and i'll be showing you another trick again probably you see a particular shoot whereby a special backdrop is used someone the person actually used a nice backdrop and you're unable to afford it or how to get it set up. But you actually steal that person's background without actually stealing the background. I get what I'm saying. So let me show you an example right now. So let's jump straight into action. The first thing first, let's use our Instagram as an example right now. So I'll, I'll go ahead to my Instagram. I'll wait for it to load up for me. So once it does, what I just have to do right now is to go to under explore. You can do this on phone, you can do this on PC. It works both ways. So I'll just go to explore. And wait for it to load up once it does then i'll keep scrolling down see i see any background i actually like can you see so let's say i like this backdrop right now can you see like this wow i love this backdrop this is kind of very very good and enticing me and i mean this backdrop but i don't want to actually do this backdrop using use it like this number one the quality would have reduced so much and number two this is someone else backdrop but what if you can generate yours yourself and get something perfect like this? So all you just need to do is just to copy the link, the post link, click on it, and click on copy link. So create another tab, then search for Insta Downloader, Insta Downloader, wait for it to load up. Once it does, then search for any one you can actually use. I prefer using the second one the most. So wait for it to open up. Then the link you actually copied from your Instagram paste it here then click on download so wait for it to load up wait for it to load up wait for it to load up click on close then scroll down scroll down so this is the one i'll be downloading right now just click on download i'll close it so automatically it has download the file for me but one thing more before we actually start the generating process the thing is that the ai we're actually using is adobe creative cloud ai which is firefly and it's actually is limitation these days is so much so i'm to actually upload this picture there with the subject being there it's going to actually generate another backdrop with subjects being there which is what i don't actually want so i just want the backdrop alone without my subject being there so we are going to make amendment to that by actually removing the subject from the picture in photoshop what i just need to do is to open my photoshop i'll just open my photoshop up then i'll go back to the file manager where we actually downloaded the file to so here's the file we just download right now so let me just open it in my photoshop let me open this up so let's wait for it to load up once it does right now what i just need to do is to select where my subject is probably i'll be using my polygonal axle tool just make sure you select the subject perfectly you can see so i'm going to select the subject don't worry about me actually selecting it this way what i just want to do is to actually fill the area up with the background so that's what i'm actually just doing it in here so just make sure you select your subjects so once you're done with that all you just need to do is just to right click on it go to fill and then click on content away click on ok and wait for it to load up and let's see what it's actually going to give to us let's wait for it and boom it's actually removed the subject from the backdrop for us don't worry about all this in the middle we don't actually need them so contrary to the select all you just need to do right now is just to save it back as jpeg click on ok so this time around you can close back your photoshop right now then head straight to your browser to actually create a generative so the first thing you're going to do when you get back to your browser is just to search for firefly adobe firefly adobe firefly then click on it so it's going to actually open this 
Google browser for you. So select any one. You can select the first. You can select the second. So let's go with the second selection for now. Oh, let's go for the second selection for now. And wait for it to actually build it up for us. So yeah, you're going to see the reason why we actually use uh the subjects where we actually use actually created the background before we actually come straight to this browser here so let's cancel this right now so describe what we want what do we want right now let's see create a studio backdrop drop weight weight flowers then click on generate let's see what's actually going to give to us right now okay it's asking us to sign in so if you don't have an account just make sure you just go ahead and sign an account but i do have an account already so i'm going to sign in with my google account so as you can see generate a studio backdrop with flowers look at what the ai generated for us so it's not going to generate the precise thing we actually need for us because really gave it a little amount of instruction even though no matter the amount of structure we actually give to it it's not going to give it exactly what you want so that's why i think adobe know that this is going to be limited to some certain areas so that's why they gave us an option to actually upload a reference of what you actually want the picture want to create to look like so this reference is a masterpiece once you just click on upload wait for it to load up then upload what you want to upload there click on open click on continue then scroll down again scroll down under the style also upload the same picture there again so let's click on upload let's upload the same picture there again so under the under the content type let's switch up the auto and put it on photo so once this is done like this let's see if it's going to give us the same thing or it's going to give us something different so let's click on generate again and see what it's actually going to give to us right now let's wait it's going to have a nice result so let's wait for it most of the time you actually do a nice job let's see if this is going to be the same thing so with this issue to generate as many backgrounds as possible you want for yourself and i think this is one of the best i have actually come with so far and boom look at what it actually did for us did for us it created something uniquely similar to what we actually need you can see right now this is nice this is everything this is so so nice you can see right now give us different variants of what you can actually use for the options you can actually choose from this is bit of the hack i really really love this so you can generate as many backgrounds as possible as you want using adobe generative field so there's no limitation to this you just have to follow the procedure which i actually left out and you are good to go you generate as many as you want and thank you don't forget to share this video with your friends all of them might be in need of this and if you're interested in getting any of my pictures that's fine they're really for sale in my store you can actually just go and get them there so that's about it here guys reflex out so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lot this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files, my premium overlay, my PNG, my flying fabric, my color lookup, my presets. So once you buy this, you've already bought everything apart from this one. So here is my flying fabrics. Here is my, in case you want to give me any project for me to work on. Here is my color lookup. Here is my background overlay. And here is my preset file. So in case you're interested in buying anyone, you can actually go for them. The good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency, any currency of your choice. You can buy with any currency of your choice.